So everyone, welcome to Power Play with CJ. It's time we're to talk about the two hits in the uh, Game 2 of the Western Conference Finals between the Los Angeles Kings and Phoenix Coyotes. Uh, the hit by Shane Doan and the hit by Marty Hansel. Um, obviously, Kings getting the big phone off the win. Jeff Cotter getting the hat trick, which is, you know, whoops, what's up with that? Uh, I'm sure fans of Columbus are crying to that bear, but I'm sure they're crying to that bear anyway. It is, after all, being a fan of the Columbus Blue Jackets. I kid the good people of Ohio. Um, <coughs> but anyway, uh, Shane Doan, we'll start with that hit first. Not suspendable. Lewis has turned his back. It just kind of, you know, it. Boarding minor, but Don't already committed to the hit before Lewis turned his back. And, uh, you know, Don't has been suspended before. I like Shane Don as a player a lot. I think he's a classy guy, but that's. He's not the kind of guy who would throw a, a dirty hit like that. Obviously, he has in the past. But, um, you know, no, he. he um, not suspendable, I don't think. I mean, you never know what Shane's going to do. Shane might throw him one game because he's a repeat offender, but I think if you're looking at the, the hockey portion of it, he's turning his back. You're in a precarious situation. Give him the benefit of the doubt, even though he is technically a repeat offender. Um, but, I mean, you know, I, I just I don't want to jam a guy up when I don't think he had a malicious intent on the hit. I, I don't think that's that's his M.O. at all. Um, the hit, Marty Hansel hits a different story. Hansel is not a repeat offender, but... Um, you know, he came, he came in like a bat out of hell on Dustin Brown. Brown needed to turn his back. Brown, Brown didn't even touch the puck because he, he knew he had uh, Hansel Barron on him. I think that's two or three games at least. you got to take that out of the game. you got to send a message that these hits aren't tolerable. Um, you know, and I mean, they, they were running Brown all night. Brown drew more penalties than uh, than I, I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen it, but you catch my drift. And I think uh, it was BS the call on Mike Smith. Uh, the call on Dustin Brown getting slashed by Mike Smith, you know, he, he wasn't impelling anything. But yeah, I've taken a slash to the back of the knees. There's no protection there, and uh, it hurts like an MF, as I say. So, um, you know, hopefully, the league should issue Dustin Brown an apology. You know, you get slashed, you're in a shitload of agony, and uh, they send you to the penalty box. So, not exactly the best possible law thing. Not not the best. Well, I mean, they, they gave Smith a penalty, but they thought Brownie was embellishing, which he wasn't. I uh, believe me, I can tell you from experience. That hurts. But back to Hansel. Look, the league owes it to itself to send a message. Even this point in the playoffs, hitting people from behind isn't a good thing. Two games, three games, whatever Shanahan um, feels fit. I don't think one game's enough. I think four games is you know too much. Uh, Hansel is, not, like I said, not a repeat offender, so that's going to factor in. Brown wasn't injured. That's going to factor in. But I also think you got to send him. These hits are dangerous. Whether or not it was his intent to hurt him, which obviously wasn't hurt, um, you know, you got to be smarter than that. You know, this is the NHL. This isn't youth hockey where, you know, you give a kid the benefit of the doubt for not understanding the consequences of their actions. This is, this is the big boys. you got to know what you're doing out there. And, uh, you know, it's up to the league to send a message. You know, I'm not going to, you know, and Phoenix is going to need Hansel. You know, they have a, tough, a tall task to go to Staples Center and win two games. Um, <clears throat> have to drop the two games on the, at home. So we'll see how it all shakes up. Um, keep saying, um, it's what's. Well, 11.59, so it's been a long day. It's been a long night in New York City. It's been a long night in Boston, too. A long night in Phoenix for, for the Yotes. But, you know, just be smarter than that, Marty Hansel. Come on, you're a better player than that. You're not, you're, you're not, you're not a dirty player. But, uh, hey, Kings are rolling, and we'll talk about that in another episode. But that's my, my that's my stance on the two hits by Shane Doan and Martin Hansel in Game 2 of the Western Conference Finals. Um, stay tuned for more episodes of the Power Play with CJ throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.